Hello friends, this video on electricity and circuits part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Would the bulb glow after completing the circuit as shown in the figure if instead of safety pin we use an eraser? So this was the initial circuit. So the question is if we complete this circuit. So how did we complete the circuit? We completed the circuit in this way. That is by connecting the two ends of the uh, key to the bulb as well as the battery. And in this case the bulb started glowing. Now the question is if we replace the safety pin. So here we had safety pin. Now instead of safety pin if we put an eraser. Now safety pin is made up of metal and metal is a good conductor of electricity. But if you replace it with eraser, eraser is made up of rubber and rubber is an insulator. That is it doesn't allow current to pass through it. Since it doesn't allow current to pass through it, so electric current will not flow through the circuit and therefore the bulb would not glow. So the bulb would not glow because eraser is a poor conductor of electricity. Question number 7. Would the bulb glow in the circuit shown in the figure? So here you see the bulb and the battery, they are connected in this fashion. So do you think it will glow? So this is the positive end of the battery, this is the negative terminal of the battery. Now bulb also has two different terminals. This is one terminal and which is the other terminal? The base of the bulb is other terminal. So in this case you see both the positive and negative terminal of the batteries are connected to the same terminal of the bulb. Instead of this, one of these should have been connected to the base terminal of the bulb. So therefore the bulb would not glow because both terminals of the cell are connected to the same terminal of the bulb. So how can we rectify this circuit? So if we connect it in this way, that is this positive terminal instead of being connected to the same terminal, it should be connected to the base terminal of the bulb. So in that case the bulb would glow. Question number 8. Use the conduction tester on an object. It was found that the bulb begins to glow. Is that object a conductor or an insulator? So let's say this is that object. So when you put this object in the circuit and you see that the bulb starts glowing, that means current is flowing through the circuit. That means this material is allowing current to flow through the circuit. So this is definitely an, a conductor. And this type of circuit is called a conduction tester circuit. Question number 9. Why should an electrician use rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch at your home? Now, normally an electrician has to handle with the electric wires and other electric appliances. So the chances of getting an electric shock is more with electricians, you know, because they deal with wires which are carrying electric current. They deal with live wires. So to, now we know that human body is good conductor of electricity as I had mentioned before. So if he touches any live wire with his hands, he will definitely get a huge electric shock. So to, just to avoid that, if he uses rubber gloves, so rubber is a poor conductor of electricity. So it will not allow current to pass through it and therefore the human body or the body of the electrician would also be protected against electric shock. So rubber being an insulator it protects the electrician from electric shock. Question number 10. The handles of the tools like screwdrivers and pliers used by electricians for repair work usually have plastic or rubber covers on them. Can you explain why? You look at these kind of instruments, they will always have plastic coverings. So these are the handles, these are the places where through which the electrician hold these tools. For example, when he has to use a screwdriver, the electrician would hold it from here. When he has to use the plier, he would hold it from here. So again, why is he dealing with these tools? Because he, he uses these tools to work on electric circuits. So these tools are in direct contact with a lot of wires where current is flowing through them. So therefore, again, if these are made up of good conductors, in that case, the current will flow through them. And again, the current will flow through the human body and the electrician will get an electric shock. So therefore, these are made up of materials which are insulators. 
so plastic or rubber is an insulator so again that would protect the electrician from electric shock while working with these tools because the presence of these insulator handles they prevent direct contact of the electrician's body with the electric current flowing through the wires and the various appliances so that's how it gives him protection so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on electricity and circuits would have helped you to understand the basics of electric current the basics of an electric circuit how an electric circuit works and what i would advise you is uh, please try to understand how these things happen try to observe the operation of a switch at your home try to observe how a torch works try to see the presence of the batteries inside your remote and you can do all these things yourself so just have a look at all these things around yourself so you will find whatever you have studied just now all the more interesting so i hope this lesson would have helped you so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again